Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, if it resonates. Green hearts, if you work it on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six minute have my back because I have yours. Now, let's see where your energy is. See what you got going on. And cards don't want to come out. All right, now it flies out, and it is the ace. No, it's the moon card. Hold on. Yep, it's the moon card. I was trying to see. So with the moon card being here, what it tells me is that you need to rem you're trying to remember something, or there's some type of illusion, or um, yeah, illusion or a lack of completion because we have the world card uh being unsure, um, unsure if you should move on, unsure uh if you want to remember the reason why you don't want to move on, why you don't want co completion in a situation. The moon can also be an illusion of fear uh, or anxiety uh, that you have going on. But again, it could be just like you actually looking at everything, world energy being that, you know, there is some type of um, lack of completion or lack of closure. Yeah, because you had to move on. Six of Swords energy, I wasn't even looking at that. Uh, Six of Swords energy, you had to move on from a situation that uh, caused you some type of anxiety or some type of insecurity. Seven of Swords energy. Uh, with the Seven of Swords energy being here, yeah, you had a lack of closure in regards to what it is that you needed to, re you, you know, the things that you were trying to remember and why you had to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. Six of Swords energy. And so the Six of Swords can also be, you know, uh, change. It, it can be a rite of passage or it could be you releasing things that no longer serve you, releasing the insecurities, releasing the, the need to know of why you had to move forward or just trying to answer questions that aren't able to answer, be answered and just sit with what it is that you had to do and why you had to do it. Um, the card comes out, the Knight of Cups, yeah, following your heart. You had to learn how to follow your heart and not someone else's heart or not about how somebody else treated you or how you felt about the way you were treated or the things you allowed to happen uh, in regards to not setting boundaries. I watched something today. Yeah, Empress Energy. So the Empress Energy is just, um, you know, basically you creating things. You had to create some type of boundaries when it came to, to okay, yeah, toxicity, devil energy. You had to create some type of boundaries, and you're trying to remember, like, why you had to do this and what was the feeling that you went through when you had to create the boundaries and so sometimes it's just quest and unanswered questions that we will never we'll never get the answer to you know um we'll never get the answer to and so this is where the toxicity comes in at when it comes to us trying to remember why we felt this way or why we walked away because we're questioning our heart and the matters of the heart but also again with the empress energy being here we had to create certain boundaries. And so I'm clarifying the moon energy. We had to create certain boundaries when it came to dealing with a person, place, thing, or a situation, or just remembering things in, in the past and trying to focus on why you made a certain decision. Four of Wands energy is here. Okay. So with the Four of Wands energy, this is like harmony. You had to have some type of peace in regards to remembering about the past. And this could be you know, the four wants a happier time that you were in when it came to you celebrating homes and childhood memories. You know, this is not the six of um, the uh, six of cups energy, but this is, you know, remembering when it was peace and happiness and harmonious energy. We're clarifying the world energy. But yeah, it, it you know, a lack of completion and a lack of closure will make you always want to remember and go back to and try to get an answer from a person, place, thing, of, or a situation. And sometimes it's just not the case that you have to go and get that. Yeah, Nine of Cups energy. So the Nine of Cups energy just lets you know that when it comes to, you know, the wish fulfillments, the things that you really want out of life, and why you have to walk away from certain situations, it's because of the matters of the heart. Knight of Cups energy. Knight of Cups comes out again when it comes to you walking away, following your heart, remembering why, nine of cups energy why you had to look at things from a different perspective and also understand that you know sometimes you just have to walk away from the things that no longer serve you and that is because of you know you need emotional fulfillment satisfaction of 
you know, the things that are happening or emotional stability. And that wasn't the case. And that's why you had a lack of closure. But that's why you also had insecurities here. Seven of Swords energy is what we're clarifying, you know, because you had to follow your heart, walk away and follow your heart because you needed that stability. Magician, you had to manifest something different because of the anxiety that it was causing you. Nine of Swords energy. So the Nine of Swords energy is anxiety. It's a sleepless night. It's a lack of, you know, um, what was I going to say? It's a lack of like um, understanding, you know? And so at that same point, when it comes to certain situations, these are secrets that could have happened. We're going to clarify the Nine of Swords energy. These are secrets coming on with the Five of Cups energy, having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness, but it's unsure, meaning that you're blocking it out. And that's the reason why, you know, it took you so long to get to a point of you realizing Seven of Pentacles, seven years it took for you to get to this point of, you know, realizing your insecurity. So the Seven of Pentacles energy, seven years, you had to plant a seed or the seed had been planting in regards to you following your heart. Knight of Cups energy comes out with the, um, what is this, the Prince of Cups or the Knight of, uh, the Prince of Cups or the is like the Page of Cups or whatever. And so Page of Cups is in the reverse. So since the Page of Cups is in the reverse, it's immaturity, insecurities, and disappointments. And so we're going to clarify that energy to see what comes out. But, yeah, following your heart is because you a lot of people disappointed you. Oh, I shook that. Yeah, in the, uh, yeah, the Queen of Cups energy in the reverse. The Queen of Cups, yeah. It would be, with that being in the reverse, it's causing you to be... Uh, to depend and be insecure again all the energies of why you had to walk away comes with uh insecurities yeah five of wands and conflict and so the empress energy comes out with the chariot yeah you had to uh understand and create um and move forward and also that causes victory um when it comes to eight of wands energy instead of you uh really kind of overthinking or uh uh, looking at things in a certain way, you had to move forward uh, from the toxicity. And the Eight of Wands energy is movement, you know. Um, you had to move, oh, um, somebody's throat chakra is off, but you had to change the way you did things and make quick decisions in regards to the toxicity and why it made you feel this way or why you were this way. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Four Agreements. I believe that we basically have what we need in this situation. You're not allowing any situations to hold you back anymore. You're eliminating the gossip. You're not making a, uh, any assumptions, and you're going from there. Hold on one second. Okay, yeah, so you're eliminating all the toxicity. That's gossip. That's having old conversations. That's just you trying to go back and recreate why, and, you know, because of the lack of closure that you have, but you realize that it was toxicity, and it was time for you to move on from it. So eliminate gossip. It says... Make assumptions. It's making assumptions is a setup for suffering because um, usually we gossip about our assumptions. We make assumptions and believe we are right. Then we defend our assumptions and try to make others wrong. And so that is where the conflict and the lack of stability has come in at because, again, you make assumptions that things are supposed to be one way, the way that you want them to be, but you get disappointed because of the past energy and there's no harmony and there's more toxicity than anything else. And so planting the seeds to follow your heart is going to cause a lot of rough feathers to be ruffled, but it's also going to cause a lot of toxicity to come out of that too from the people that you're walking away from, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see that energy. Now we're going to pull from the crystal deck. If you want to find out my perspective of the, chakras and or sorry that was my garage door opener um you want to find out about how i feel about the chakras and the four agreements i'll put the link up above but it's the heart chakra and that is new beginnings nurturing and growth okay so yeah it says new beginnings nurturing and growth sorry my son just got off work it says i live in an abundant world the moss agate sorry about that i live in an abundant world this is learning Sin is strength and healing, period. And sometimes you have to change in order for things to be changed for you. And that means following your heart and going down a different path and getting away, walking away from the toxicity. And that is kind of how I see that energy. So you guys, do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. 
Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, if it resonates. Green hearts, if you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six. Me to have my back as I have yours. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.